Hello everybody and welcome to a new Let's Play. Today we are doing one of my all-time favorite games. It's a platformer. It's a game for the N64. I Let's Played it a long time ago. It's Banjo-Kazooie. Let's do it. Alright. I'm sure you guys have heard of Banjo-Kazooie. If not, look it up. Get a dictionary. It's the best game in the entire world. We're gonna freaking kick some ass today. Alright. Uh, let's free up. I gotta free up a file. Oh, never mind. That one's good. Woo! Alright, let's do it. So, the basis to this story is you are a bear with whose name is Banjo and a bird whose name is Kazooie. And Kazooie lives in Banjo's backpack who he carries around with him everywhere. And they all live in Spiral Mountain where the witch Gruntilda has a lair which is like eerily shaped like her own face because she seems to be like a narcissistic, egotistical, crazy one of those witches. Yeah, so. And there she is now! Ding pot, ding pot, by the bench. Who is the nicest looking wench? Why, it's Grunty. Any day, she really takes my breath away. <coughs> yes, you're right. I'm rather proud. My looks stand me out from the crowd. She's really rhyming. And I doubt I'm actually going to, to say everything she says throughout the whole game. But... I mean, she's hilarious. I'm sure you guys will, will learn to love Grunty's rhymes just as much as I do. She's like a straight-up rapping G. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So basically, she wants to be the prettiest of them all, like Snow White. Basically, like, same plot as Snow White, except instead of, like, polygamy, we have an angry witch that wants to steal the, the princess away, not kill her. So... She's gonna steal her and take her beauty for herself. Which is way smarter than what Snow White's mom did. She was just crazy. Let's not forget that Snow White's mom had some problems. Thank you. This is a PSA from Dan from the O Group. So there's Tootie. And that's Ba- uh, that's your sister, by the way. Tootie is your sister. And that's Bottles the Mole. He'll help us out on our adventure with some some fun stuff. Hi there, Tootie. What are you gonna do today? When my big lazy brother... I don't know why I give everybody, like, the same voice when I play these games. But they all have, like, the same dopey, like, even if they're a female character, they'll have, like, a low-pitched voice. Like, I don't know. Come on, Banjo. Wake the hell up. Wake up. I wanna go on an adventure, too. I don't know why, because we sang. She's so singy! If Tootie thinks she's fairer than me, I'll steal her looks and ugly she'll be. be um, I guess? I already explained all this? Yeah, like, the witch is trying to steal Tootie's good looks and make her pretty and make her ugly. And we're trying to stop her. But right now, we don't even know what's going on. Right now, Bottles thinks that Banjo is that witch up in the sky because he's a silly pumpkin head. And then, like, Tootie is freaking out because this witch is gonna come, like, snatch her face. And here she comes now with a broom with eyes and a mouth. Oh my god! Let me go, you ugly old hag! I could have gone with a stronger word there. Don't scratch and bite, my little bear. You'll soon need bear what? Okay, I'm not finished that sentence. Oh no, oh, she's got her! Somebody! Help! Banjo, wake up! No! I don't know why I screamed that. <laughs> Holy crap, the bars on the audio. I'm so loud today. I love it. I'm so full of energy. I'm ready to go. Let's play a game. And there's Grunty's evil laugh of death. All right. Listen to Banjo jump around, and we can finally play the game. Okay, so now we can go this way, and Bottles will tell us what the hell's going on. Listen up, I'm Bottles, the short-sighted mole. I'm Banjo, and this here's my buddy Kazooie. Sure is a strange looking buddy, Banjo. Can it talk? Better than you can, Gaga Boy. What was all that noise about? Where's my sister Tootie? The ugly witch Gruntilda swooped down out of the sky and grabbed her. Banjo's like, what the? What do you mean she grabbed her? It's my sister, man. Why don't you stop her? And then Bottles is like a mole, so he's like, I'm a nerd and stuff. Press A if you want me to teach you some basic moves, and press B if you think you're already good enough. Uh, I already know the moves, so I don't need to know what's going on, but I will give you a quick run-through of all my basic attacks. Real quick, just so you know what we're doing. Okay, so you walk up, 
can like throw the old one two one two. You give the old like big slammer. You can give it all like back flip. Right now, can't do anything else. Um, we can do the old peck peck peck. And I think that's about it, to be honest. Oh, and I, I can roll. I forgot about the roll. So yes, the first enemies that you fight in this game are also giant vegetables. Mmm, I'm sticky, tasty, honey energy. Mmm. <laughs> Those guys always seem so strange to me, like, I'm just gonna give all of the, the characters in this game, like, hilarious voices. I'm an extra honeycomb paste. Collect six of us to increase the energy bar. I don't know if you guys ever saw, like, uh, Digimon Abridged by, like, I don't know, the guys at Team Four Star, but that kind of reminds me of what, uh, that one Digimon sounded like. Hey, I'm Poggy. Let's go, Pog. But if you guys have no idea what I'm talking about, then I sound incredibly insane. Okay, so before we leave Spiral Mountain, because I already know all of my moves, uh, I'm gonna collect all of those empty honeycomb pieces to get an extra bar of health, like it explained earlier. And they are easy to find if you know what you're looking for. You just gotta basically look where the game would hide them for you. And there's one in here somewhere, I believe, as well. This isn't gonna be like a blind LP, obviously. I know, like, this game inside and out. This is gonna be like a walkthrough. Or like, I don't know, just a classic Let's Play. I don't know. I just love Banjo-Kazooie so much that I figure that I should do a Let's Play of it. Because I think I would have a lot of fun playing this game. So now that we have all of that, I think what the last couple pieces are, are first off over here. All the angry looking rock folk, because they're just so angry looking. Brr. Look at them angry. Brr. I'm a roll in there. Brr. I love them. Just look at that angry face. Like, I, that's why I love games made by Rare, because they seem to think that they can just add a mouth and eyes to about any object, and it'll become like an awesome character. I don't know if you've ever played Conker's Bad Fur Day, I might have to let's play that game too, because that's another classic. But, I mean, oh shit. Die, cauliflower! And just like that, guys, that's where they all are. Those are all of the honeycomb pieces in Sprout Mountain. We got our extra life, and now we can move on to the actual game itself. So that's, this is basically like the, I don't know, the prologue to the game, I guess? That would make more sense than saying like the intro, I guess, because we already saw the introduction. But, I don't know, yeah, this is the prologue. I guess a prologue and an introduction are somewhat similar. Some could even say that they're synonyms, but you know, I just don't use my mind when I commentate, I just use my mouth. Because that's how the ladies like it. Wink. Wink. And we're gonna keep climbing up Sparrow Mountain. Just gonna keep on climbing up the mountain. And here we are at the top. Bottle still doesn't think we're ready. So you're ready to tackle the witch now. We sure are. Show us the way, bottle boy. Cross the bridge to enter Gruntilda's lair. Look out for me inside. Good luck. Thanks, dude. Peace. And just like that, the game begins. Oh, yeah. Now there's Gruntilda and Tootie. And a little cutscene real quick. This fine contraption, so I'm told, will make me young and tooty old. Let me go, you fat bleep. My brother will come and kick your bleep. Rescue you, he will not dare. There's many dangers in my lair. Hurry, Klungo, push that switch. I'm tired of being an ugly old bitch. Yes, Mistress Grunty, power is I soon be breaker. Banjo! Help! And then, just like that, the cutscene begins. There he is, the fun begins. My tricks and traps will see who wins. Okay, so to start us off, climb up this here right here, I'll a jig. You get this here, I'll a jiggy. It's me, Mr. Jiggy. Now go and find a picture with a piece missing. It's time for the super awesome jiggy dance. The super jiggy dance. Fuck yeah. Alright, let's keep moving. First of all, we're gonna go over here. And 
we're going to over here. As you can see, we just grabbed that puzzle piece, and now we can slide it into here, making it complete so we can enter the new world. And not like the uh, the Christopher Columbus New World. We're talking about just like, I don't know, whatever this place is called. Mumbo Mountain? Mumbo Mountain. So we're going to slide that right in there. Epic music is played. And then it opens. And we can go in. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me, guys. It's got a bit of a cough. Okay. So now that we've opened up that level, we are going to go in there. Next time! Thanks for watching this episode of Let's Play Banjo Kazooie. My name is Dan, and you are watching the old group. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.